Okay, hello. So today I'm going to be doing this quick demonstration on how to apply your glueless elastic band unit. So today I have this glueless elastic band unit right here. And there's the elastic band. And this comes with two combs by the air tabs for glueless wear. This was requested by the client but if you want to opt out of using combs I can definitely make the unit without the combs as well but this helps it be glueless because you don't have to worry about the air tabs flapping around or anything so this is why the combs is right here because it sits right by the air tabs and you will see once I apply it and you also have a comb in the back as well so so if you're worried about the combs like snagging at your hair it's best to have a cap on this way you will just tug the comb underneath the cap and it won't be touching your hair or anything so it's best to use a wig cap when installing the custom unit if you're afraid of your edges being ruined or anything but if not, you can just definitely just put the combs and slide the combs in where your sideburns are and it's no problem. You just, the only reason it's going to snag is the way you apply it and the way you remove it. So what I like to do is bend the frontal back. So the frontal piece is going to be facing me or facing you and... So this is the front of the wig and this is the back. So I'm going to move to the side. As you can see, the front will be facing me and this is the back. So you're going to bend your head down and letting the frontal touch your forehead. And you pull the elastic band down. So it's sitting right in the back of your nape. And then you pull the wig down in the back. And then it's on. So you want to make sure that everything is sitting comfortably. And don't worry, the combs always sit like this once you apply it on. You want to make sure it's sitting comfortably in there. And this is a medium size wig. As you can see, it's not sliding anywhere and not going nowhere. And I don't even have the combs in yet. So it's not going anywhere, not sliding back, not moving or anything. And you want to take the comb, pull the wig up, slide it under your wig cap. And that's is sitting right there and as you can see the it's not you know sitting flush to your skin because it's not glued down but you don't have to worry about the wind blowing and the ear tabs flapping around or anything if that makes sense but with this style you won't even be able to see that you just want to make sure that the wig is sitting flat so it's just sitting flat right here and you can't even see if the wind flew blue and the, you know, your hair blew back. You can't even see that. So you don't have to worry about that. And you want to do the same thing to the other side. Just make sure that your wig cap is pulled down. And then... I tug it under the wig cap and same thing to the other side. Make sure that it's sitting flat on your head and there. That's how you wear it glueless. And the wig comes styled already like this. So once you receive it, all you have to do is plop it on your head. So I hope that this quick tutorial helped you 
better understand how to apply your custom unit as far as the um, elastic band and everything and the placement and everything and this sucker is not as you can see it's not sliding back so I like to wear a medium cap so I can have more room in my caps but I really like in between like a small and a medium so I can wear a size small as well and this is a medium size cap and it's not sliding back at all no glue just combs and the elastic band so just to show you that not going anywhere not moving not sliding or anything and this is the flexi rods this is a bigger size and you can curl your hair at night with these this is a smaller size and they come even smaller than this but you don't need this for this style it's best to get something like these they also have a bigger size than this um i could just quickly show you how to curl that up as far as like if like the front and then the back so i'll do one here and then one here so to show you quickly how that would look if you curl it up using the flexi rods <laughs> okay so you want to take this small part like the little swoop bang and you want to basically follow the curl pattern so as you can see it's going back like a ringlet going back so you place this like this and you want to bend it but not too much because it will leave an indent and just go like this and then once you get to the end of that curl you want to take this piece and bend that up and squeeze it and then you can bend this over like this so it's over that and that's how that swoop will stay in the front so as far as curling the back section, you are going to curl the back section basically the same way. So you would split it in the middle and work on one side and then work on the other side. So as I was saying, you would split it in half like this. And this is going to be going back. This side is going to be curling backwards as well. So it's going to be curling away from your face. So you would take a section from the bottom, whichever side you know you want to work on or whichever section, you just take a medium size. So basically like this. And you're going to take this and just basically follow the curl as you can see it's going like this backwards. So you're going to do the same thing. You can bend it all the way over with the back pieces because it doesn't really matter like it's not really going to like leave an indent as it does in the front because you don't want that in the end. You can see that I'm just curling back, back, and then I'm going to take this and bend it up and you can just curl it the same in the front if you want like that. And you're just going to let that sit and all you need to really curl the back is probably about... I would say four of these big ones so if you wanted to have these big loose beach wave curls you just need about four or five of the purple ones I don't know I think they do come in like different colors depending on your beauty supply store I don't know but you just want to make sure that they are the size for this curl or even the bigger ones will give you like a big voluminous curl volume so Okay guys, so I'm also going to show you how to remove your wig as well. So I first start at the front and you wanna just slide the combs down, the comb out and I just let it flip out like this and then do the same thing to the other side. Pull the comb down. And then flip it up like that 
then you can work on the back and you just pull on the elastic and voila your wig is off and that's how I remove the glueless custom unit I hope that this video helped you let me know if you have any more questions and thanks bye